Good morning, everyone. Day two. It's the Black Alachian here, live from the Foothills Trail. Uh, feeling a little pumped this morning, you dig? It's about seven o'clock right now. Uh, I've been sitting in my tent for about about an hour now, actually, playing music and uh, up drinking. Uh, I had me a nice iced coffee this morning. So I just got through drinking that and a uh, little headband for breakfast. Headband and iced coffee if you dig what I'm saying. Uh, so I'm about to get out my tent, make me a, a good protein shake. This will be what I will use to carry me through the day along with my snacks, my kind bars and my little sugary snacks. Um, but this is Insure Protein Powder, as I said. Uh, this is 12 grams of protein per serving. I remember drinking Insure sneaking them at the, uh, when I worked dietary at a little nursing home one time when I was about 17. People used to be like, why you drink them? Them for old people. I'm like, yeah, but they nutritional. They adult nutrition. Like, what are you talking about? Um, this is better than drinking a sugary soda, I would think. So I'm going to double up on that. So that means 24 grams of protein and some other vitamins and minerals and, you know, nutritional value. So I have me something to keep me going throughout the day. You dig what I'm saying? We rocking the uh, Osprey for this for this journey. Um, so yeah, I wanted to you know try to keep it light on this journey. I don't gotta take as much stuff, but what I did was switched off some things. Like I didn't bring my camp shoes. Um, I didn't have to bring a, a bunch of clothes. Uh, you know nothing like that. I just wore pretty much everything that I knew I was gonna need, and uh, so that way I can shed layers or add layers as needed. See, I got my fleece right here i haven't even had to pull that out i got my rain jacket and uh i got my rain jacket and my madera outdoor hammock and straps inside of here so just in case uh i looked at the forecast i, I don't think it's gonna be any rain but just in case shout out to this pack pillow man get go check out getpackpillow.com oh it's pretty nice man pretty nice as you can see Got this smooth side right here, smooth and soft, cushiony. So, uh, yeah. So I, you know, I just traded off a lot of things, but I did bring this. This is just a regular blanket that you will find at any woman's house. You know, like the uh, not the sound misogynistic, man, but you know they got always had them soft, real soft blankets that feel like a this feel like a mink or something. So I got that with me. I wrapped up in that last night, so I was pretty chill last night. I was pretty, pretty cozy up in here. Um, as you can see, we rocking the Big Agnes for this journey. Um, 3.1 pounds, but I think it's worth it because it's roomy, man. This is super roomy. Like you see, I got room for my pack, my feet. I can, man, I can do all kind of stuff in here. I can do yoga in here. I can do calisthenics in here. I can do all kind of stuff. Uh, so, but yeah, other than that, man. We just moving and grooving. So uh, we're gonna try to push uh, some big miles a day. I don't know how it's gonna go. But as of late, the trail has been, every, all the whole way in here, the trail has been just beautiful. Uh, just immaculate trail. So I think we can push big miles. I don't know, man. We just playing about, yeah, man. I'm happy to be back out in the woods, happy to be back out in the wilderness. Just, you know, solitude, the stillness of everything, man. And, the simpleness of it um, it's just peaceful and you can just sit right there on the edge of the river right here the chatuga river and uh have you a nice thanksgiving reloaded dinner <laughs> and watch fish jump out the water i mean it don't get no better than that it's just simple i don't need to have a bentley parked out here with 18 gold chains and diamond chains on i don't need to have you know the Maserati and the Fifth Avenue uh, condo. You know what I mean? I just need a tent <laughs> and the basic stuff I got here. You dig what I'm saying? So, man, much love to everybody. This how we rocking. It's your boy Logo, the Black Alachian El Montaña Negro, the Black Bob Ross, aka Young Peter Tosh, with the reggae tam. No reggae thorn. You dig what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah, that's all I got for you right now. But love and light as always, man. Let me get up and get on out and get to moving and grooving, shaking and baking. You dig what I'm saying? Peace.
what up man back again day two for mile marker let's say around 26 somewhere around now live from the spring coming out the side of the mountain oh yeah it's always a good thing when you run up on unexpected water oh man oh you know what no wonder i'm walking funny i walked off without my staff can't do that can't do that but uh, yeah, it's been a good day, but man, I underestimated the power, the strenuousness, the arduousness, with all the S's of a uh, flatland hike, or should I say, uh, hike with relatively no elevation. Uh, so. But yeah, we've been moving and grooving today. We're about, let me see, about 13 miles in, something like that. Still got a few more to go. And uh, we're gonna go from there. But as of now, coming down a little bit, we've been doing this for a little second. But it's not steep. I just been slaloming my way down the little hills. Back up, come back down. Pretty much what the trail is. Ran into somebody that uh, followed me on the AT today. That was cool. Nice young lady. I forget her name. I don't think I got her name. I was too busy trying to keep moving, keep my motivation going. Cause, uh, uh, oh, excuse me. I don't know if it's the heels. I think I'm already out of shape. <laughs> I'm already out of trail shape and my feet been hurting and doggy been barking so I had to take a couple of uh, ibuprofen I didn't bring my CBD oils with me this time because I was loading up my tank and broke my tank so I got to get another tank before I can use my bait <coughs> and uh, really get a proper test going on them CBD oils Shout out to Fresh Leaf. But, uh, so yeah, I had to go to Big Pharmaceutical way today and take a couple pills, see if I can get these feet to stop uh, hurting while I knock these last few miles out. But, uh, other than that, we chilling, man. I want to try out my hammock. I don't have an underquip, though. That's the only thing stopping me from that. Look at this. It's about to be a mean game of pressure body up against the dirt oh sometimes being tall is not an advantage uh, okay back up I'm dust myself off yeah man it's all part of the game feeling good to be back out here though besides my my feet these bad feet Fuzzy bad feet. Oh, we got a hill. This is the first climb I done seen. Like this. Seems like on the whole trail. It's got a little steepness to it. So I guess this probably be the big climb for the day. Because it can't be no higher than this. I think we're going up to about 3,200 feet. Which is a 400 foot climb from the last place I stopped. So, over a few miles. Oh, yeah, man. Okay, let me get to it. I don't want y'all to watch this little hill with my butt. So, as always, love and light. Oh, they go to the end of the hill right here. About to go around the side. Love and light from yours truly, the Black Alachian. Peace.